Hi, this is Lauren from Lemon Sky Photography, LSP Actions, and I'm going to show you a very basic way to use actions in Photoshop with your newborns. Um, you might have my actions, you might have other well-known actions, um, but the principle will probably be the same. So first off, you're going to want to go to Window, Actions, and you will get your Actions panel up. You can then click on these little lines here, and click load actions that will open the folder so you will then go and locate your downloaded actions they might be in a zip file they might be on your desktop they might be in your downloads wherever they've gone wherever you've downloaded them from find them double click the ATN file and it will load them like this as an action the action will be in a folder you can then open the folder and see all the goodies inside all the ingredients and all the actions you can play with most actions will run with layer masks a layer mask is a little box that goes next to your layer and literally kind of does what it says on the tin. It masks your layer. Um, layers are back in the old days when, you know, like Walt Disney used to animate. This is where I've always thought of it. He would have layers and layers and layers of paper, um, almost like thin layers of tracing paper or see-through paper with the characters on. And then another layer would have a different character on. And that's how they would animate. Photoshop's a little bit the same, so you have all layers on top of each other stacked up, and depending on the transparency of those layers, you can other ones will show through underneath. It's probably the worst way in the world to describe it, but I'm not very technically minded. So you play um, an action, so let's play one of the simple actions here. So you select it and press play, it will then run. You can kind of minimise your actions tab if you want to, or you can leave it open. I'm going to click there just to hide it, but it's left me with a play button to open them again if I want to. As you can see, this has made no difference to the image whatsoever. And why is that? Well, it's because there is a little black box here, and because the box is black, it means it's invisible. So whatever goodies are going on in this folder here, you can't see them, because there is a black box on the folder. When you see a black box in your action, you want to get a brush at a low opacity. You don't ever really want to be at 100 opacity. You want to bring the opacity down so you're painting on at a lower transparency because then you can build the effect up rather than going in all guns blazing. Don't be clicked on the group or don't be clicked on the action. Be clicked on the black box and you will see um, a little outline comes up when you're on that layer mask box. So what I'm going to do now, this action says brighten up baby. So that must mean I'm going to paint it on the areas I want to brighten up. With my white brush at low opacity and I'm on the black box, I'm going to start brushing this over the areas I would like to brighten up. If the action effect is too strong, you can go up here on the opacity, making sure you've got the layer selected and change the opacity for that layer. I'm going to put it back where it was because instead of changing the opacity, I am going to hit a black brush and paint it away just a little bit on the areas I don't need it to show because remember black is invisible I'm putting, painting the black back in to hide the action. I can then go back on a white and paint it in where I want it to show. So I've brightened up the baby's skin now. Now what I would probably want to do is reduce the reds and the spots. So we'll go back on here, find an action for reduce the reds and play that one. Again, we've got a black box on Reduce the Reds, so that's made no difference. But I know when I click on this little layer mask here, the black box with a low opacity white brush, I can start painting it over the areas that are very red and I can start reducing them. Because I've chosen a low opacity, it means I can start keep stroking over the same areas over and over again um, and building it up because some areas may be redder than others. You probably find hands and feet are far redder for example, then the middle of the torso, um, around the eyes, around the edges of the nose can be quite red. So now I've painted um, that on where I wanted to reduce the reds, and I'm quite happy with that. I will go back on my actions and decide what I want to do next. So soft skin, I might want to soften the baby's skin up a little bit. Again, we've got a black box on soft skin. That's all I want to paint on. I don't care what that looks like. As you can see, this is kind of a grey box. This is a round circle and that's a folder. I don't care what they are. That just means um, that the action has done its own specific thing. All I care about is these black boxes here and where I'm going to paint white on them. So because it's soft skin, I'm going to start painting soft skin around the edges of the face. 
down the bridge of the nose, on the cheeks. The key to soft skin is you don't want to overdo it. You don't want the baby looking like a porcelain doll. You just want to soften up the kissy areas, the little cheeks, the forehead, anywhere like that. So now I've softened her up, I'm going to go back to the action and think, hmm, what am I going to do next? Sharpen the lashes and the details. Again, exactly what it says on the tin. Oh, this one even comes up with some instructions. So I don't want to be on the grey box. I want to be here on that black mask again with a white brush. I've made the brush smaller and I'm going to bring it and brush it over the eyelashes however many times it takes for me to be happy with the effect. You can always brush this around the edges of the face, any little wrinkles, anywhere you want to draw attention to and sharpen up. So now what do I want to play? Rosy pink cheeks and lips, I don't need that for this baby. Um, bye bye jaundice. If you've got any yellow tones, which I perhaps have, again I'm clicking on the black box and I'm going to rub this over any areas that look perhaps a little bit yellow on baby's skin. Now I may play uh, Brighten Up Baby again if I want to get a really nice bright image. So now I've played Brighten Up Baby again. And I'm just going to really pop this over and really start brightening her up a little bit. I can bring the opacity down until I'm happy with the level of brightness. Warm up purple skin. She is looking a touch purple. So again, black box selected. I don't care about the circle or the groups or anything else, just the black box on the layer. If you click on the layer, it goes off the black box. So you want to make sure you hover and click on the black box. That will come really easily to you um, once you start doing this. So I'm going to use a black brush to take that off there. So now we have done that, I'm going to just merge these layers together just so I can show you a quick before and after. So that was before, that was the image we started with, and that is after going over with a few of those actions. And there are actions on there to remove flakes and remove spots, and I will do another video on how to do that manually for those of you who don't have the actions or don't have any actions that can do that, or just prefer to edit by hand by yourself, that's absolutely fine. And I will record another video on how to do that soon. But for now, that is how to use Photoshop actions quickly. I mean, we've been recording for like, what, seven minutes? And most of that has been me showing you slowly how to do things. So just think of the time you can save when you actually just um, learn how to do this very, very quickly and go bish, bash, bosh, paint, paint, paint. I mean, uh, an edit like that would probably take me a minute, maybe a minute and 30 seconds to do. So yeah, I hope that's helped. I hope that's helped. And remember, just remember the black boxes, <laughs> paint white on the black boxes. If there's a white box, it means it's visible and you might want to paint black on it to get rid of areas or take the opacity down on that white box. But most actions you'll find that you download have got black boxes. So paint on those. So I hope that's helped and happy editing. Bye.